Insurance and Financial Services wishes best of luck to all Tenora Rams athletes this season. BSN Sports, the recognized leader in team athletic gear. BSN forms partnerships with educators, coaches, and students to build school pride, student engagement, and community spirit. Our partnerships give you access to the most brand names in the industry with all of the hottest products at the best prices. From Nike to Wilson to Under Armour, we can customize any team needs. Since 1972, BSN Sports has brought you the brands that make you untouchable on the field, the court, or anywhere else you play your sport. Contact BSN local sports rep Jim Gares for any of your sports needs at 419 419- 576-8940. Welcome in to Tenora High School where we have signing day here for the girls. First time we've experienced something like this, so we're going to give it a shot. Jake asked if we wanted to come out, so we're like, heck yeah. We have Addison Lee, Lauren Sattler, Tanae Smith, and Skyly Zolman here that will sign. And, and Coach Fairchild's here. He can talk about Tanae and Skyly a little bit. Yeah. Kind of excited to see him uh, come out tonight. They both invited me out here to watch him uh, sign the letters of intent to go play ball at the next level. And it's, it's exciting for the program. You know, when you, whenever you have somebody that's, you know, making it to the next level, it kind of builds some more interest, in, I think, in the programs. And, um, you know, along with Addison and, and Lauren, you know, two great athletes. It's going to be a good set of athletes setting up front today. Yeah, Lauren, good Lord. I mean, I don't know if you can really say too much more about her. <laughs> this has already been said. Nice article in the Crescent News about her uh, yesterday, Tuesday. Pretty much spotlighting her career here and uh, her experience down at state for cross country, but probably will go down as one of, if not the best runners for cross country in the history of Tenor High School. Yeah, and quite the, quite the mix of, of uh, schools. Uh, I kind of let it, I'll let it up to the girls to talk about that as they get there. I don't know if they're going to do the the whole hat reveal that you see during the <laughs> during the, <laughs> during the uh, high school football all star yeah. game where they said they turn like put like six different hats out there and <laughs> where they're going to go play college ball. But right. uh, I think it's pretty straightforward. I think everybody knows where they're going. And yep. Yes. Yeah, so. Jake Essig did a fantastic job here at Tenora, and we have a full house and then some. I don't, honestly don't know that he expected this many people to be here. <laughs> I bet we have, I don't know, Tony, 75 people here oh, maybe? Yeah, at least. Probably at least. Uh, so family members, classmates, friends, and um, when able here, we'll turn things over to Jake and let him do some talking about the four female athletes up here announcing or they're going to college. Test, test. Welcome to the 2023 Fall Sports Signing Day here at Tenora High School. My name is Jake Essie and I have the privilege of being the athletic director here. I do apologize that I'm wearing a red jacket. I will see that that gets changed for the next one. Green. Uh, today we celebrate four student athletes that have worked tirelessly in their respective sports and just as importantly in the classroom. Those being honored today include Addison Lee, Lauren Sattler, Tanae Smith, and Skyly Zolman. I'll read a short bio about each young lady followed by a round of applause. First up, we have Addison Lee. Today at Tenora High School, she has earned three varsity letters in track and basketball, two varsity letters in cross country, most valuable jumper in 2022 and 2023, state qualifier in 2021, regional championship qualifier in placer in 2022 and 2023. She'll be attending the University of Toledo to participate in track and field. She selected UT because of the team atmosphere being very close and the team being very welcoming. She believes the coaches care about her as an athlete, but even more so as a person. They value setting her life up for success athletically and academically. Addison would like to thank her parents, Isaac and Kristen, for providing unconditional love and support throughout her athletic career. She would like to thank her younger siblings, Madeline, Jackson, and Henry, for giving her a why and reason to be someone they can be proud of. Finally, she would like to thank her grandparents, her aunts, and her coaches. Addison's advice to current student athletes would be that you are often your own worst critic, citing something that she has struggled with herself. But she learned that you can always be your biggest
is fan as well. So instead of focusing on just the negatives, you have a lot to celebrate in yourself as an athlete too. Celebrate the highs as much as you can, focus less on the lows because they do not define you. What you're doing is amazing, you just have to learn to realize it. Without further ado, let's give a round of applause to Addison Lee. Amazing, my, my mouth is going to get dry after all this. Um, next up, we have Lauren Sadler. Lauren is a four-time GMC cross-country champion, four-time OHSAA state qualifier, two-time All-Ohioan, and recently placed fifth overall at the state meet. Additionally, she has the school records in the 5K, the 3200, and the 1600. She was the regional champ in the 1600 and the 3200 in 2023. She placed third at the state track meet at the 1600 and fifth at the 3200 state track meet. Lauren will be attending the University of Finley. She felt Finley was the best overall match for her in her career. The people, the teammates, and the coaches all made Finley feel like home to her. She has a number of people to thank because she would not be where she is today without them. To her family, you were there through it all with her. They witnessed every hardship and struggle. They were also there cheering me for success. And I can confirm that because I was at the state meet and they were very much cheering her on for success. Uh, she would like to thank her coaches, Jim Winsman and Amanda Westrick. They were there at every practice, every day, helping her find her path to success and accomplishing her goals. She would like to thank those who have helped her through her rehab. As many of you know, Lauren was in and out of rehab the first few years of her running career, just to try to make it to one more race. They not only helped her to get to the next race, but they helped her to learn her body and how to be a better runner because of it. They are the reason she is choosing her profession as well. To her teammates, you were the ones who helped her the most over the years. Teams come and go, but the friendships that were made stay forever. She wants to especially thank Jackson Durfee and Paul Westrick. They ran all of their runs together over the past few years. They formed a bond that was stronger than that of just regular teammates. They were second family to Lauren. They have taught her everything she knows about running and helped her fall in love with the sport truly. All of these people have helped shape me into the person that she is today. I would like to thank them for pushing me to be a better person each and every day, not only in running, but as a person. There are two phrases that Lauren has lived by over the last few years. You have to be willing to do the work even when no one is watching and find someone that is better than you and learn from them. Without further ado, let's give a round of applause to Lauren Sapper. <laughs> Next up, we have Tanae Smith. She earned varsity letters for softball and band. She was the Geometry Student of the Year, and she's a member of the NHS. She will be attending Goshen College to play softball. She has selected Goshen College because of the community there, reminds her of the community have here at Tenora. They are so caring and they are so kind. Goshen has a small town feeling and everyone she has met so far has been supportive of her. She also cited the team feeling like a close-knit family and support system that meshes well on and off the field. Today we'd like to thank her mom for always supporting her in everything that she does. She wants to thank Mandy Baldiff, her recruiter, for helping her reach out to get this opportunity and to Luke Wagner, Goshen College softball coach, for the opportunity. Finally, she would like to thank her friends and family that helped push her to be the best version of herself. The advice that she has for other student athletes is to keep working hard to achieve your goals and never give up when it does get hard. There are days when you may get down on yourself because of your performance, but you have to keep pushing through and work harder at the next opportunity. Without further ado, let's give a round of applause to Tanae Smith. Finally, we have Skylie Zolman. In Skylie's freshman year, she earned first team all conference honors. In her sophomore year, she again earned first team all conference, along with GMC player of the year, second team all district, overall MVP, and Crescent News softball player of the year. In her junior year, she won her third straight first team all conference award, first team all district, second team all state, and defensive MVP. She will attend Tiffin University and play softball. 
Her desire to attend Tiffin is because it is a small school, just like Tenora, and made her feel close to home, and she can come home often. She also cited that the colors are not ugly, and <laughs> who wouldn't want to be a fire-breathing dragon? It's a little bit different than the ram. Skyly would like to thank everyone who has helped her along the way, especially to her parents, who have let her play travel ball for the past nine years, and came to watch her games gave up their weekends to be at a ballpark. Skyler made special mention about her dad, Sean Zolman, for being the man behind the plate, catching for her the last nine years, to her mom for making sure that she had a better game the next game, and to her brother for always tagging along. Cooper, she wants to thank you for supporting her and listening to her rants and seeing her tears when she was frustrated about how she performed, and to her entire family for coming to watch her games. Also, Skyler mentioned her coaches and teammates as a tremendous support to her by pushing her to be the best version of herself. Gamby and Tanae for being her catchers during the high school season, and Tegan for being her throwing partner. Skyler's final advice is to find a way to have fun and to know bad days will happen, but never let a mistake affect you. Brush it off and move on. Without further ado, let's give a warm round of applause to Skyler and Zola. So at this time, we're actually going to open the floor to anyone here that might want to say a few comments, a few brief comments about any of the girls or multiple of the girls up here. So uh, it's not a cordless mic, so you might have to make your way forward, but I will leave the room open for a few minutes in case someone does want to say something. Not everyone at once, please. Yeah, thank you. No additional comments? Okay, no, no worries. No worries. Okay, so in closing, I want to thank everyone for being here tonight to honor these four wonderful student athletes. It's safe to say that they have left a positive mark here at Tenora, and we're excited to see what they're going to do at the next level. Let's give them one more round of applause. Please. We want to make sure each girl has their own individual moment. So Addison Lee is going to be the first one that signs. The other three girls can just step to the side. Anyone that would like to join Addison behind her for the actual signing portion, please make your way forward now.
Test, test. Test, test, test. Test, can you? Test, test, test. One more round of applause, please, guys. Lauren, we'll have you step on up. Anyone that would like to join her behind, please make your way forward as well. One more round of applause for Lauren Sattler. <laughs> Next up, Tanae Smith. Anyone that would like to join her, please make your way forward. One more round of applause for Tanae Smith. <laughs> Last but not least, Skylie Zolman. Her family would like to make their way forward as well. That'd be great.
One more round of applause for Skyler Zoll. <laughs> this concludes our fall signing day ceremony. Please feel free to stick around, take more pictures, and as always, go Rams. All right. So if some of the girls want to come over and talk, we can grab one or two of them. And if not, then we'll let them get on their way. We'll see. Do we want to do an, do an interview? We can do a, we can do a Paige Gamby interview. <laughs> <laughs> Gamby walks by. No, I'm not doing it. No, no Paige interview. <laughs> but you can we go ask and see if we can get something? Yeah, I can get, get a couple of them over here and see what we a couple can, of your see, girls. See and find see here. if you get uh, Addison or Lauren, if they want to come over, fine. If not, then you can get your girls for sure. But Coach Fairchild... No. Round up today and Skyly, but very impressive showing for the student athletes here. Like you said, there's upwards of close to, I'm going to guesstimate 75 to 100 people here for the family, friends, classmates, teammates, and ex coaches. Coach B showed up here, which was nice to see her her husband and brought the little one with them so she's getting some pictures taken as well with Addison up there but appreciate all you guys for tuning in and we'll have some girls basketball coming up at the end of the month boys basketball to follow football obviously it's over great season for the boys Great season for the volleyball and great season for the individual cross-country team. Coach Winsman, a heck of a job here building Tenora cross-country team into one of the more rec recognizable names in the state, without a doubt. Every year, some about the last six, seven years, somebody from Tenora, two, three, four individuals are down there representing Tenora High School. So Coach Winsman uh, doing a heck of a job here at Snore High School, so glad to have Coach here. So, girls are up front still, taking some more pictures and doing some signing. Kevin Ice here taking some photos for Crescent News. Talked to Kevin quite a bit in the last couple days, but great job by Kevin. Says he misses writing, which I agree. Kevin used to cover Tenor quite a bit back in the day. Actually, not that long ago, two or three years ago, when the Crescent News was uh, the booming paper. Had all those great football articles on Saturday. Actually had a special edition football paper that was out on Saturday and now Sunday. It's swindled down quite a bit from the, the glory days, but Kevin does a fantastic job. Follow him on Facebook and does still does photography says he misses writing his articles which uh, generally agree with that so what a fantastic event here at Sonora High School by Sonora's athletic director Jake Essick doing great things here at Sonora High School like I said we miss, miss Coach Rudder Jake says Jake has stepped in and stepped up the game quite a bit here, so doing a great job. All right, I can't even find Coach Fairchild. Oh, there he is. He's over there talking to somebody, of course. <laughs> Let's see if we can round up some some of those players. Pitcher day here at Snore High School for the girls. Girls basketball, cheerleading, and whatnot was here. Getting their pictures taken, but I think, uh, I think Mr. Rittenhouse was taking care of that. Studio three. Coach Fairchild's got to get, uh, got to get some pictures taken himself now, as you, as you can tell up there, so. <laughs> Maybe a slight delay, a slight delay on him getting up here. <laughs> Smiling big for the camera out there. <laughs> but if we have this a couple times a year, this is great. I mean, I said this first time here at Sonora High School for this event and a booming success, without a doubt. Only gonna get better. So.
went very well. No hitches. Great speech. Honored all the girls for the best that they could. So. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in here. We appreciate that. As the daylight saving times is in full effect, you look outside, it's 5:38, and it's pitch dark outside. <laughs> it's hard to believe. Within just a few days, it goes from sunny, walking your dog, taking the dog for a walk at 6:30, and then gonna. All right, we're gonna get Addison up here. All right. Can you hear me all right, Addison? Yeah, I can. All right. <laughs> tell us a little about your about yourself, where you're heading, and uh, anything else you want to tell us about yourself for those just tuning in late. Um, I'm Addison Lee. I'm a senior, obviously, at Tenor High School. I run track and field, and I will be attending the University of Toledo next year, running track and field. Um, I'm going to do like the sprints, so 100, 200, long jump. Um, I also play basketball, yes. so that's fun. Looking forward to that here yep. in a couple of weeks. Yep. Um, I'm going to school for nursing and hopefully getting my master's in like pediatrics awesome. or something like that. So, yeah. And before you know it, you'll be at Toledo. I know. And it, just, it just flies by. It does. It <laughs> does. This year's already flown by. Yeah. It's it's like, uh, yeah. yeah uh, fall sports are over. Now you're hitting winter sports. Yep. and. Um, yeah, you'll be graduating, like, tomorrow. <laughs> Probably, honestly. <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you wish you're back here at this place. Other times you're like, oh, I'm all right. Yeah, I'm I all right moving on. So, I definitely feel that. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. And, thank you. like I said, good luck uh, this uh, winter for, for, for basketball. Thank and you. we'll keep track of you in the in the spring as well. Thank but, you. Um, but, yeah, thanks for giving your all for Tenor High School. We appreciate it. And we, we enjoy covering you as well. So, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you, Addison. Addison Lee heading to Toledo. Appreciate Addison. And we look forward to the basketball season coming up for, for Addison as well. See what Coach Steele has up there for the for the girls this, this season. First game, I think it was October. No, October. I wish it was October. 28th of November here versus Brian. So Anna Gray will be here. Anna's a senior, transferred a couple years ago. So Anna, kind of a homecoming for her coming back to Tenora High School where she will be on the Tenora Hardwood for the final time. All right. Skyly's going to come over here. All right. All right, Skyly, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Tell us a little bit, for those of you that are, for those of out there that joined us late, tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're going, and some of your accomplishments, and what you're going to do at uh, Tiffin. So, yes, I'm going to Tiffin to play softball. I'm not sure what I'm going to major in yet. I have, like, five different ideas. Most do not know after the first year or even two. <laughs> and... I'm most excited because it's like small and it's not too far from home. Mm -hmm. So I could still come home and I see myself coming home often. <laughs> yes. Everybody gets homesick. Trust me. <laughs> but I'm most excited that I still have my senior season. Yes. You still have one so. more year coming up. And uh, some of your accomplishments for your first three years. As far as individual and team wise, you can, you can discuss those a little bit if you wish. Sophomore year, we won GMCs, and as of right now, we're back-to-back -back district champs. Mm -hmm. And we were in the Elite Eight last year, so hopefully we continue our run this year. All the way to Cyrus. That was a fantastic time down there. A little bit on the short end, but, but for the last two years, I mean, you put Sonora Softball on the map, so you and your teammates have done a, a fantastic job. So, Thank you. 
Yes. So we enjoy. We'll look forward to covering you here. Before you know it, you'll be throwing some fastballs for <laughs> game one. I'm excited. <laughs> yes, so are we. Should be a good year for you guys. But uh, best wishes and good luck uh, in your future, Skyly. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for joining us over here. Or I guess me. Coach Fairchild kind of abandoned me. He's got to get his picks, too. <laughs> He's roaming around somewhere. <laughs> yes, yes. But... Do um, you have any goals coming up for, like I said, you still got one more year left. Do you have any goals, team or individual, for your senior season? I really want to hit my 1,000 strikeouts. So I'm trying to convince Coach to let me pitch as much as possible. How many are you away? Um, I have quite a bit. Okay. But I think I could definitely reach it. Just keeping myself healthy. Mm -hmm. There you I, go. Yes. That's the key. Yes. Very much so. But. And we're ready to get the GMC title back. There you go. The heartbreaker last year won nothing to Fairview. And ironically, had Fairview won last year, you guys would have had a rematch with Fairview two and a half hours away down at Musiris. Yes. You know, you're 20 minutes away and you would have had to drive two, two and a half hours to play a softball we game. We wanted them bad. Yes, I'm sure you did. Yes, but uh, but a great career so far. Like I said, you still have one more season left. So uh, wishing you the best, Kylie. Thank you. All right. Thanks for coming over. Appreciate it. All right. Senior Skyly Zolman still has one more season left. Today's going to stop over. All right. Put those on today. And All right. Can you hear me today? Yep. All right. <laughs> today Smith heading over here. For those of you, for those of us out there just tuning in, um, tell us a little about, about yourself, where you're going, and uh, what your accomplishments are so far, and what you want to do when you when you uh, move on to college. I know it's a lot of stuff to do, but just... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sure your big brother's out there watching, so... Or will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm committed to Goshen College, uh -huh. for, um, catching in third. Um, in high school, I play catcher, third, and outfield, usually. Um, oh, goodness. About myself more? I don't know. <laughs> and you're in the band? Yeah, I'm in so the band. Did a great, yeah. uh, One great of the fall. Drum majors. Yeah, did a great season with fall. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what are you looking forward to uh, going to college? Um, I've been, so I've been to two of the camps mm -hmm. now and everything, and just going there and being around the girls, like, they're so much fun. And, like, they, like, you know, take everything serious, but mm -hmm. they make it in a fun way. Awesome. And just want you to be better in different ways. And I got to uh, stay the weekend there, and it just made it so much fun Good. and everything. And the uh, school is just so much fun and nice. Do you have any, like, do you have a major in mind, or are just going to go there to... I'm um, going to major in nursing. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. What's it like catching Skyly? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I've grown up catching her. And so I've. Right. Yes, you <laughs> yeah, have. Yeah. I've been pretty much the only catcher in her grade. So I've gotten used to it. Um, it does still hurt as she gets faster. And faster. I'm sure it does. Yeah. But it's fun. I love it. And it prepares me for yep. the college and everything. So. And you, as a team, have accomplished a lot here um, in the last two years, or last three, really, going into your fourth year. But especially the last two years, mm -hmm. you guys had a, a chance to go to state this past year, and you're in the Sweet 16 the previous year. Mm -hmm. So um, you guys are leaving a legacy that hopefully all the little kids down below you and through junior high can come up and say, hey, I want to be like Tanae, or I want to be like Skyly, or, or whatnot. So, <laughs> yeah. yes. But uh, best wishes today, and thanks for uh, thanks for stopping over. Appreciate <laughs> it very you. much. You still, like I said, you still have one more year of softball. Any any team goals or individual goals for um, your senior season? I don't know, just to get better. You know, I was taking out part of the season for my hitting, just because I kind of got down on myself. Mm -hmm. I've been doing great, so just to be better with that and everything. Think positive, positive thinking today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right, Tanae Smith. And I think Lauren's still there taking pictures, so I don't know if we'll be able to get her or not. We'll try. See what we can see if we can get Lauren over here. Very popular here at Tenora. Lauren.
All right, Laura, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear All you. All right. Actually, it's the first time I've ever met you. I mean, I've, mm -hmm. I've wrote about you a million times. I posted a thousand and one things about you, but you're actually smaller than I imagined. I figured you'd be little. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Congratulations on a fantastic high school career. Um, you'll probably blush, but you'll probably go down as the best female runner in the history of Tenora High School. Um, records say that. Um, but tell us a little about tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, where you're going to school, and if you want to elaborate on some of your accomplishments, that's fine. If not, um, you don't have to do that. Some people shy away, but you, you, like I said, you've accomplished tons since you were a freshman here. So, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and and your future? Yeah, those were very flattering words. So, thank you on that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Lauren Sattler. I am the daughter of Mark and Stephanie Sattler, and today I brought with me my brothers. Uh, I brought my boyfriend, Dustin. Yep. I brought my mom and dad. I brought both my coaches, and then my grandma and grandpa. They have all, all these people have been influential in my life and just have helped me throughout my mm -hmm. uh, athletic and academic career here. Um, so I am going to the University of Finley. Uh, I feel like me and the coach, we really hit it off at the start there. Mm -hmm. um, th the first time I actually walked in the door, he didn't care anything about my times or yeah. running performances. He's like, he wanted to get to know me as a person awesome. first, and that really hit the mark for yes. me there. And then I went back on a second visit, and I got to meet the team, uh -huh. and I got to really, like, I don't know, kind of enjoy the, like, college atmosphere there that mm -hmm. they kind of created, and so I really fell in love with it after that. Great. Yeah. Very much. Uh, and Coach Winsman up there mm -hmm. um, has built the Tenora Cross Country program into one of the better ones, not in, in the area, but in the state. Like I said, for the past five, six, seven years, there's always three, four, five Tenora kids down there representing. And like I said, you yourself for what, four years mm -hmm. were down there. So yep. um, have you decided on the major when you when you head down to uh, Finley for those the just joining us? Yeah, uh, so uh, if those of you caught before, I kind of talked a little bit about my rehab and my thank yep. you, and that was the really influential part of my life, mm -hmm. because you're down in the slump, and you're struggling a little bit. You just want to get out, and you want right. to go play the sport that you have been, and it's really kind of hard, but the people that were there helped get me back on my feet. They mm -hmm. helped get me there. They kept pushing me. Um, I got to meet these really cool people here at Defiance Physical Therapy. They yes. helped so, so oh, much. Oh, boy. And then, the best. Yes, they are. And and then even once we got to a point where they couldn't help me anymore, they helped direct me and find mm -hmm. someone else. So I went and I saw a running specialist physical therapist. And that's really when I decided I wanted to major in physical therapy. Um, yeah, and he like helped change my running form and he gave me like these certain running specific exercises. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that is the most part that has helped uh, get me to where I am today. Awesome, very good, but um, we appreciate you stopping over, Lauren, and we wish you the best. I mean, yeah. like like Jackson and everybody else beforehand, we'll follow you as close as we can as well, and, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll report what you do in your in your uh, college career. So thank yeah. you, and, and, and best of luck. Thank you. Yes, thank you. All right, Lauren Sattler. Like I said, Lauren probably will, as again, go down as probably the best female runner here at Snore High School. So things closing up here, but appreciate everybody for, for joining us, and we'll post a video to this on our Facebook page, Facebook page, YouTube, and we'll post it online as well later, and we'll edit it down and trim a little bit of the beginning and end off, but fantastic day here, Coach Fairchild. Yeah, great day, I mean, man. This is I'll awesome. You, I'll tell you what, uh, Jake, is. Uh, this was an awesome setup, and you know, like him and I were just talking a couple minutes ago, it, you know, to go to this extreme, and I call it an extreme because, you know, I remember when, when Tiffany signed, my daughter signed, it was... Like in the library of Yeah, High School. Yeah, it was a library. It was like, and, and the only people that were there was the people that you invited. Right. So um, this was kind of neat to have other people get to, to you know, join in on a celebration yep. of other people and, and uh, other girls, and it was awesome. It just, like I said, it doesn't take much extra to do it. No. And, um, but yeah, I mean, geez, there was 
75 people here at least oh, easily earlier. we had to get uh, we tried around like 25 more chairs yeah. i think they grabbed all the chairs they could there was no more chairs to grab yeah, there's still 20 people standing yeah. in the back so but i tell you what this uh this was awesome and, and great four great athletes and yep. you know for my for my the girls for me skyly and Tanae, just absolutely uh top-notch players and i'm you know they're going to be they've set the, ba the standard high for tenor softball for yeah. sure yep. and it's going to be a it's going to be d difficult to replace those two when they leave next year. But, um, you know, as a coach, you you got to do that from year to year. And yep. you're going to have great athletes. That you hope to sit at a table like this and get to yep. sign and, and, you know, f continue their dream of playing softball for hopefully four more years. Yeah, like I told both today and Skyly, it's like their three, four-year era here, you know, is, is – reflected not only in this area but you know when you go down for close to playing for a state berth which you guys have the last two years yeah sweet 16 final eight um like everybody wants to get in like your younger junior high kids your elementary yeah. kids like hey i want to go you know be like today or skyly and yeah you know play play softball so yeah and i've been doing a nice job i've been trying to get the younger kids involved doing camps and you know we uh, this past year we had the 10 year old uh, group group of girls come out and mm -hmm. join us on the field and trying to develop that interest with the younger right. younger ones and um, some great kids coming up too. I mean, you know, it's uh, we'll just we'll just see what happens. I mean, yeah. it's, it'll be an interesting year. But uh, congratulations to the four of these girls. Like you said, it's just a uh, you know, Lauren probably. One of the <laughs> try not uh, to make just, her blush, but yeah. it's like, hey, I'm just going to give you your accomplishments, and <laughs> so, but fantastic, absolutely. fantastic, all like all, all these four girls here, yeah, just great, absolutely, and, you know, so. But. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of all four of them yep. and, and uh, you know, hope, uh, hope, for, hope the best for them in, the, in their future. Yeah, high quality kids. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Great on the field, great in the classroom. I mean, you always yeah. see them on uh, their honor roll and, and yeah. whatnot. So, yeah. um, definitely. Uh, Met expectations and exceeded yeah, expectations on both on the field and in the classroom. So yeah, like I, said, I can't I can't say that I wasn't trying to talk Addison to playing softball for me. I'm like, yeah, you already signed. Come on over and uh, she has uh, a track season. Yeah, she got track season. <laughs> I'm like, well, but you already signed, so you can play softball for a year. But no, no, I just uh, I joke around with those girls a lot. I've gotten to know a few of them here and there yep. through the softball yep. girls, but. Um, but yeah, this was a great setup. Uh, Jake did a heck of a job. Oh, yes. And, yep. Um, hopefully, more schools follow like this. Once you know they see what Jake has done here, hopefully yeah. some other schools can follow. Like there's small colleges that probably doesn't have <laughs> something like this. You know, honestly. Yeah. yeah this so, was, this was awesome. Yep. And like I said, I don't think I've seen better, better than this. Was the and uh, was the one where they play that high school football all star game or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. they, they make a big deal out of that. Right. But this, this is top notch, man. Yep. I like it. Yep. All right. Well, I'll close it out for us, for Keith Brown, Coach Fairchild here. We'll be back in about, I think, three weeks. Three weeks uh, tomorrow, I think, we'll be here for some girls basketball. Or Brian, the Golden Bears will be here. So until then, everybody have a fantastic night and a good weekend that's upcoming. Thanks for listening to this exclusive presentation of Tenora Rams Sports. Be sure to tune in next time when we bring you more Rams action and follow us online at TenoraRamsSportsAudio.com or on Twitter at Tenora Rams Audio.